Does it seem possible that this is the 36th Sunday of our time of virtual worship together? I got to thinking that virtual can have both negative and positive connotations. Negatively, virtual can mean almost or not quite. As we think of our worship times together, we have sought to have authentic worship. And so, how does virtual fit into that? Our motivation has been to provide safety for each other, to maintain health, uh, to therefore not have in-person worship services. And so we have gone, and this is the positive, to a virtual step. We have gone to using YouTube and Zoom for our virtual worship services. In essence, blessings, because in other areas this might not be possible. To be sure, it's been a disappointment in not being together in the flesh, to to share a handshake, uh, to, to have a hug, um, even to uh, have an elbow bump. But we have sought, uh, as a pastoral staff and as the entire staff, to provide times of worship when we grow in our faith and when we walk even closer with Christ. Pastor Dan's sermon today uh, describes our situation, blessings through disappointments. We trust that you have been and will continue to be blessed by our times together of worshiping God in this way. Later in our worship service, Billy Nielsen will be sharing the third of three stewardship videos. May it be an inspiring time for you to continue thinking about opportunities for joy we have looked at time and talent, and today's focus addresses our finances, treasure. We hope that you feel joyful knowing that your continued monetary support of our church's mission during these unusual times has been something to celebrate, something that brings joy. The prelude that Anne Suplee is about to provide is appropriately titled, Through It All. We're reminded that it's only on cloudy, rainy days that rainbows appear, signs of God's promises. And so, whatever challenges you may be having, this prelude, we trust, can be an encouragement to you as you prepare your heart and mind to worship God on this third Sunday of November. 